Y'all must have caught wind of the new Fast and Furious coming up. Bet you guys want some more of the high-stakes, fast car-packed, family action extravaganza. Well, our favorite fast guy, Vin Diesel, has already taken to social media to get the fans hyped up, and we're jumping on the bandwagon, leading straight to yet another explosive installment to the franchise. Let's dig into the latest. Starting off, Diesel takes to Instagram to rile up his fans. Vin Diesel, the Fast and Furious franchise's star and apparent ringleader, has finally discovered closed when fans will be able to view a trailer for the newest edition. We're getting closer to the Fast and Furious 10 release date by the quarter mile, and now Vin Diesel is here to get us even more pumped. The actor has stated that the first trailer for the new Fast and Furious film will soon be out. Diesel uploaded an Instagram photo of himself with Jordana Brewster, who plays Fast and Furious character Mia Toretto, his on-screen sister, brother and sister on set, he wrote, while further adding that the Fast X trailer would be out in less than two months. The shared image he uploaded doesn't tell much. This new action flick may contain that familiar touch of family, though. But knowing we'll finally get a look at it is exciting, because Fast X will be released in May. The trailer will be released barely three months prior. That's hardly a lot of time to promote a film, but the Fast and Furious audience will be out in force, nevertheless. Next up, Fast 10 will be going up against the recently released Avatar 2. Fast 10 took its sweet time wrapping up production, and now it has to go up against a big league movie, aka Avatar 2. There are several possible explanations for why it has taken this long. The thriller film's production experienced significant complications, as director Justin Lin stepped down in the middle of filming and was replaced by Louis Leterrier. Fortunately, little momentum was lost, yet transferring such a high-level job always causes workflow difficulties. Furthermore, Universal will want everyone's focus on the Fast 10 trailer, as Avatar 2 eventually came out in December, soaking up all the hype. We're just gonna say, that it's never a smart idea to compete with a new James Cameron film. The Fast and Furious franchise has two movies remaining, and development on Fast 10 is moving along nicely. Fast 10, the series' last film, before it concludes with Fast and Furious 11, will be released in May. This provided everything stays good till then, would then be followed by the last film, which will conclude the plot in 2024. Finally, sorry, we mean family. Further, the family is back. Throughout development, Vin Diesel has teased fans with several hints about what's to come. We already know that several significant characters from the franchise will return for the final installments, including Jordana Brewster's comeback as Dom's sister, Mia Toretto. Diesel has recently uploaded a fresh shot from the set of himself and Brewster reconnecting on Instagram, and in the caption, he promised that the trailer will be released within the next two months. More reunions are on the way in Fast 10. Of course, John Cena will reprise his role as fellow Toretto brother Jacob after making his debut in F9. Meanwhile, many new newbies are entering the franchise in Fast 10, including another new member of the Toretto clan. Rita Moreno has been cast as Abuela Toretto, Dom, Jacob and Mia's grandmother. Jason Momoa, Brie Larson and Alan Richson are among the newcomers. You bet your cinema ticket this is going to be a star-studded cast. Moving on, more news on the returning crew. Diesel released the new logo for the impending sequel on his Instagram account, which reuses the classic Fast typeface above a large X. The X in the emblem resembles a car's headlights, hinting at the ridiculous racing set pieces that would certainly appear in Fast 10. Diesel used the logo unveiling, along with a comment saying, Day 1, to announce Fast 10 is actually filming. While the premise of Fast 10 is being kept under wraps, the highly anticipated sequel will be the first of two films that will purportedly conclude the franchise. Fast 10 will star Jason Momoa as the film's major antagonist, making him the third huge superhero star to join the franchise, following Wonder Woman's Gal Gadot and Peacemaker's John Cena. Fast 10 has also added another cast member from James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, Daniela Melchior. Finally, Brie Larson, who is now Captain Marvel in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, joins the ensemble of newcomers. Additionally, Fast 10 will flesh out Dom's story even more. As revealed by returning Fast and Furious star Tyrese Gibson, Fast 10 will further fill out Dom's past. In the last film, F9, the Fast family's leader had to confront some ghosts of the past when his brother, our boy John Cena returned to challenge him for the role of Ultimate Action Man. While the franchise delves into Dom's background, fans are eagerly anticipating what fresh shots the sequels will offer. F9 has already taken the family to space, so whatever happens next will undoubtedly astound everyone. In addition, Dwayne The Rock Johnson will not feature in the following two installments. Johnson has been a vital part of the Fast and Furious franchise since Fast 5, but after sitting out Fast 9 due to onset issues with Diesel in the last picture, 
Johnson informed Slash Film that he will not be returning for Fast 10 or 11. Now, everything we know about Fast and Furious 10. The Fast and Furious series has evolved from a film about street racing and boosting DVD players to one of today's most successful and out-of-the-box cinematic experiences, with a host of sequels, spin-offs, television shows, computer games, and more. During that period, the films have also progressed from modest box office triumphs to outright juggernauts, with Furious 7 and The Fate of the Furious both surpassing the billion-dollar mark globally. Even F9, The Fast Saga, which was launched during a pandemic, brought in a big sum of money during its theatrical premiere in June 2021. All of this is to imply that the franchise is here to stay, at least for a few more films, with the upcoming Fast 10, the genre's 10th main sequel. But before you get your Corona, Von Dutch shirts, and start fiddling with your Dodge Charger, here are a few facts about the extremely pricey film. Firstly, Fast 10 will be released in May. If we lived in another universe, we would have watched Fast 10 in cinemas and on Blu-ray by now. It was initially scheduled to launch on April 2nd, 2021. We could have been debating all the ways to watch F10 and previous Fast and Furious movies just to catch up with them instead of contemplating, but there's some good news too. Fast and Furious 10 will now be released on May 19th, 2023 which seems like a great way to start the summer blockbuster season. There is always a place for more seats at Dominic Toretto's table, so it should be no surprise that the Fast 10 cast continues to grow. In January 2022, it was confirmed that Aquaman himself, Jason Momoa, will be joining the franchise as an unidentified nemesis, officially adding himself to the lengthy list of ferocious foes who have physically, emotionally, and spiritually tested the Toretto crew. Momoa described his role as a bit of a peacock, in an interview with Variety in March 2022. Secondly, DC star Daniela Melchior is also making an appearance. Also in March 2022, it was confirmed that the Suicide Squad breakthrough star Daniela Melchior has joined the franchise in an unspecified role. Though DC isn't the only one having a good time in Fast 10, as Captain Marvel star Brie Larson, who had previously pitched herself for the franchise, was announced to be joining the ensemble in an Instagram post by Vin Diesel. Fast and Furious is Ted will be part of something far bigger than just one supersized action adventure film when it is released. In fact, it will be the first chapter of a two part conclusion for a franchise that began 21 years ago. When word first broke that Universal Pictures was planning to finish the Fast and Furious franchise in the near future, Deadline reported that instead of following the traditional sequel model for the final two installments, longtime franchise director Justin Lin would tell one big story over two movies, beginning with Fast and Furious 10. Next up, what's expected beyond the Fast and Furious movies? Even while the mainstream Fast and Furious tale will be wrapping up with the release of the 10th and 11th films in the franchise, the world that has been developed and built up over the previous 20 years isn't going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, many offshoot films are now in development. The first is a sequel to Hobbs and Shaw, which grossed $759 million worldwide in 2019, according to Box Office Mojo. While it looks like the odd pair of the action genre will not be returning for Hobbs and Shaw 2, a sequel has been in the works since March 2020. During a June 2021 interview with Vulture, Vin Diesel addressed the future of the Fast and Furious brand, mentioning a potential plot that has apparently been considered since 2009's FNF, but stopped short of announcing whether that story will be a prequel or spin-off. That same month, Diesel informed Variety that he had writers working on a Fast spin-off, centered on Charlize Theron's character Cypher. However, sadly, no more details were given. Lastly, Tyrese Gibson and Ludacris want to take Fast and Furious 10 to Africa. Nothing has been announced regarding the locations that will be featured in Fast and Furious 10, but two of the series' longest-serving members know where they want to take the brand. Tyrese Gibson claimed during a Sirius XM Town Hall interview with the F9 cast in June 2021 that he and Ludacris, who plays tech whiz Ted Parker, plan to move the series to a certain African country. Later in the interview, Tyrese Gibson discussed how filming Fast Five in Brazil felt like a homecoming for co-star Jordana Brewster, and how he thought it would be incredible to do something similar in South Africa. We don't know where Fast X will take the Toretto team on their next and final journey together, but we expect to learn more about the film and the franchise's future as we move closer to its May 2023 release. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the upcoming Fast 10? Will the family pull through again? Let us know in the comments below. It'd be awesome if you gave this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe for more scrumptious videos like this. See you in the next one.